In a couple of days, I'm gonna be traveling for the first time since 2018, I wanna say. We're gonna be traveling for one week in Victoria, BC. So today I thought I would share with you how I pack for one week in a carry-on. I am not that much of a travel bug, but when I do travel, I like to keep it limited to a carry-on and a backpack. My whole life has to fit in there. And all of these sort of packing principles apply whether I'm gonna be traveling for one week or one month. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you my packing list. If you want a downloadable PDF, you can check out the link in the description below. It's a very handy checklist that I go through every time I need to pack so I don't forget my toothbrush again. Speaking of travel, I wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, Babbel. Summer's coming, vacation season is upon us, and a lot of you guys might be gearing up to go on some awesome adventures. I'm super jealous. For me, I'm staying in Canada, and depending on where you're traveling, I think it's really great to learn some of the basic phrases of the language and the culture that you're going to be exploring in your travels, and you can do that really easily using Babbel. Babbel is a language app that will teach you real-world practical conversations, all in short, and easy lessons that can get you speaking your language of choice in as little as three weeks. The lessons are designed by real language teachers and that way you're actually learning the conversational and authentic language. There are a ton of different languages to choose from. For me, I decided to start taking French back up again because let's be real, the peak of my French education in school was from a pineapple. Ça va? Ça va? How's it going? Bonjour. Bonjour. Hello. Nailed it. Goodbye. Props to Anana, but it's not gonna get me through if I ever travel to Paris again. So if you're getting ready to travel and you wanna start learning a language in as little as three weeks, you can click the link in the description down below to get 65% off your own Babbel subscription. And let me know what languages you start learning. Thank you again to Babbel for sponsoring this video. Let's get packing. The bag I'm gonna be carrying with me is the Away Bigger Carry-On. This will fit on most standard airplanes, but on smaller airplanes, it will likely need to be gate checked. So keep that in mind, but I think this is a really good size for most travel, whether it be short-term or for more long-term travel. That's why I chose it and I decided to get the bigger version because sometimes it's nice to have that little bit of extra room if you need it. You're not scrambling to figure out ways to Tetris your life into your carry-on. It is a hard case suitcase and it does have the 360 60 degree rotating wheels. So it will be really easy to maneuver through the airport. And it just looks really slick and minimal. We love it. I'm new to the world of packing cubes. You have 30 minutes to move your cube. But I also have the matching away packing cubes. It comes in four different sizes for your clothes, your socks, your toiletries, just keeping things a lot more organized, which I love. And it matches. We love a matching moment. So I'm gonna start with undergarments and I'm gonna use this sort of medium-sized away bag. I really think these make it a lot easier and cleaner, more organized to store all your intimates, your socks and underwear. So I'm gonna be bringing with me eight pairs of underwear just in case. Good to have in my opinion. Seven pairs of socks with me, one for every day and I will be wearing a pair when I'm actually on the plane. I'm gonna bring one bralette with me. This is from Organic Basics. And I'm intentionally bringing it in a nude color because if I wanna wear a white shirt that day, then I don't have to worry about my bra showing and anything being too see-through. And I learned a really handy folding trick from Ivanka from The Tidy Moose. So when it comes to your pajamas, it is a set. So you can fold them together as you normally would and then just fold it in half like this and you're ready to pack it. For my airport outfit, I will probably also wear leggings because I want to be comfortable, which means I'm going to have two of the same pair of leggings. I'm being a little bit more intentional with the sports bras that I'm packing because I like to dress in like a bit of an athleisure way, so I made sure to pack sports bras that could double as athleisure wear and active wear. So that's a really great way that you can minimize some of the clothes that you need to pack. 
and there we go. When it comes to traveling, at least for me, I think I have a lot of sort of just in case thinking and mindset. And there are things that I definitely do bring with me just in case. But a lot of times, especially with clothing, I end up wearing like the same thing the whole time. I don't wanna think too hard about it. I just wanna grab what I know feels good and spend my time and energy exploring the city, exploring where we are. Now I just prefer to stick with what I know. So I'm gonna be bringing with me two t-shirts, one black, one white, one tank top, one long sleeve sportier t-shirt, a hoodie, a button up, and a blazer. So the first t-shirt I'm gonna bring with me is this Durf Avenue ribbed tee. I have admittedly been on a Durf Avenue kick lately, but I really, really like this t-shirt. It's nice and stretchy, it fits nice and snug to the body, so it looks really flattering. Next t-shirt I'm bringing with me is just a plain black t-shirt from Organic Basics. You can dress this up, dress this down, super easy, and it's just part of my everyday wardrobe. A racerback tank from Durf Avenue. I really like it, you don't need to wear a bra with it, and it will dress up and dress down really easily. Because I think it's gonna be cooler in the morning and in the evening and a little bit warmer during the day, I'm just bringing this Lululemon Swiftly shirt. It's black, so it's kind of easy to hide that it's athletic gear if I wanna dress it up a little bit. When it comes to folding, I don't try to do anything too fancy. I like the way that Ivanka from The Tidy Moose teaches it. If you haven't watched our closet declutter video, you can check it out right here. All I do is just take the shirt right outside the collar, tuck the sleeves in, and allow it to sort of fall the way it does. Clean it up a little bit, fold it once, and then fold it one more time. And once you stack all your things in there, I think the wrinkling problem won't be so bad. And this is what we've got for shirts. I'm gonna bring this hoodie with me from Little High Little Low, but I'm gonna be wearing this on the plane for some layering, cause it does get cold. So this I'm just gonna set aside. For layering, I'm gonna bring one Oxford button up, this blue stripe one from Durf Avenue, just to sort of change it up, cause the rest of it is pretty much gonna be black, white, and gray. One pair of blue jeans, these are my vintage Levi's, and I'm packing the pair that is not distressed, so that way it has maximum versatility. For things like dinners, fancier evenings out, that type of thing, I'm bringing my pair of black Durf Avenue wide leg trousers. These pants are so versatile, I just love them. So with folding denim, this is a little bit more bulky, so I'm gonna try to make it a little more compact. All you wanna do is take the denim and fold it in half and then I take this little pointy part, I don't even know what it is, I fold it inward and then I fold the bottom of the jeans up to this line, fold it in half and fold it in half again. That should smush in very nicely. And then with the trousers, I'm gonna do the same thing, fold in that pointy end, bring this up. Since these are a little bit wider, I might fold these in like this so it's all about the same size. Fold it once and fold it twice. And then finally, because it's me and I wear blazers more casually and more formally, I'm gonna pack one black blazer. It's the most versatile, it's super easy. You just throw it on. And I feel like this one won't actually wrinkle that badly. And since it's a bit more bulky, I'm just gonna put it right on top of all the clothes here. And there you go, there's the one side. So when it comes to shoes, I'm only gonna be bringing three pairs with me. A pair of white sneakers, because I find in terms of athletic shoes, they're probably the most versatile. My Blundstones for walking around, hiking, and my Gucci loafers for evening wear, a little bit more elevated. And they still look good if I wanna pair them with jeans or things like that. In terms of bulk, my Blundstones are definitely bigger and it is sort of a rule of thumb to wear the bulkiest items on the plane. I don't know, I also want like a cute, comfortable, casual airport fit. So I'm gonna wear my white sneakers on the plane. I don't have to pack those, but I will be packing these and I'm just gonna be putting them in a shoe bag so that they don't get all of my stuff muddy and dirty and all that. My hair straightener, my booty band, and my bala bangles because working on my fitness. This is my everyday makeup bag, but I'm gonna pare down 
what I keep in there to the bare minimum and ideally avoid things like liquids. Try to stick to all of my solid cream makeup. So I'm gonna bring my Hourglass Foundation Trio. This has a bronzer, blush, and highlighter. Everything I need for simple everyday makeup. Three different concealers with me because I don't really wear foundation anyway. This is my go-to for my base. So I have my RMS concealer and then two Jones Road Beauty concealer sticks for color correcting and brightening. Brows, lip liner, eyeliner, and a lip gloss. Brow gel, I'm very serious about brows. My eyelash curler, and my favorite mascara. Deodorant, a comb because I like to do slick buns. A hair pomade, it's solid, it should be okay to travel, and it's under 100 mils. My diva cup in case that happens while I'm there. And some extra hair ties. I am gonna be doing a little bit of filming while I'm there, so I'm gonna bring my travel tripod with me. And for liquids, I just keep them all in a clear plastic Ziploc bag. I know it's not the most sustainable. See, I almost forgot some stuff that are very obvious, but I'm glad I have my list. Toothbrush, gloss, So in terms of backpacks, this is the one that I carry with me every single day. This is the Ocean Backpack from Samara. It is covered in sunscreen, as you can see, but it has a lot of really great pockets and compartments to keep all your stuff so that it's really easy to grab. So the first thing I'm going to pack is my laptop. I will be filming content and doing a little bit of editing while I'm there. And to give my laptop that little extra bit of protection, this is my laptop case. It is, again, from Samara. It is this really nice cognac color. It actually fits a lot more in there than you would think. And in there, I'm gonna put my SD card reader, Samsung SSD drive. It makes editing so much faster. And this bag has a handy laptop slot, so I'm gonna go put that right in there. I'm also gonna pack my camera, which I'm filming on right now, so you can't see it, but it's a Sony a7S III with a 24 to 70 2.8 lens. And I'm gonna bring my Rode mic that is on it right now. My phone, my Apple AirPods Pro, great for noise cancellation on the plane. Phone charger, couple of masks, my sunglasses. These are the Ray-Ban Wayfarer folding sunglasses. My wallet, obviously. This backpack comes with this little travel makeup bag. So in here I have things like sunscreen if you sit near a window. That is a lot of UV radiation going on your face, so I have that in there. Hand sanitizer, obviously. Hand cream, dental floss, tampon just in case, a whole bunch of band-aids, Kleenex, a pen, and two different lip balms, one SPF and one just hydrating. I've got this mini travel umbrella that I always carry with me in this backpack anyway. It's super tiny, lightweight, and I don't have a raincoat, so that's kind of a British Columbia faux pas, but this will have to do if I do get caught in the rain. That's it. Just a couple of random things. I'm gonna bring this 10 tree crossbody fanny pack. This will probably just go in my carry-on bag and this is something that I will be carrying with me if we walk around the city, go get coffee, it'll hold my wallet, my phone. I have some random papers in there that I have to clean out. My very sun bleached Spinco hat. I'm gonna wear this on the plane with me. And for the plane, my eye mask. Look how cute it is. Okay, final airport fit. Leggings, t-shirt, hoodie, cause it's bulky, and my trench coat. And stay tuned for the next video because I'm gonna be vlogging my travel capsule to see how it went, see if I underpacked, overpacked. So make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Thank you again to Babbel for sponsoring this video. And if you wanted to get started with learning a new language, you can get 65% off a subscription to Babbel when you click the link in the description below. All right, I gotta go, I'm gonna miss my flight. Eee!